Hey guys, Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at Sick Week. It is day two. We're in Orlando, Florida. Unfortunately, there's no racing today, but the competitors are all here hanging out. I'm here with Stefan Rossi of Ace Racing Engines. And behind us is his 1966 Chevy Nova SS with a 427 twin turbo LSX. And it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade, Precision Performance Pengrade, always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. SCAT Crankshafts, everything for your LS engine. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Steph, thanks for joining us. I know, uh, you know you guys are being pressed for time with uh, some issues going on with the car and then yeah, you know, weather today. <laughs> and, uh, but we appreciate you giving us some of your time. Yeah, no worries. Uh, now I know you guys originally built this for Drag Week earlier this year. And, yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. You know, just didn't end up getting it quite finished up no. to make it there, but you're here for Sick Week. Yeah. And we'd love to know more about what you got in the engine and, and yeah, in the car. Yeah, I know cool. the car's been around a while too. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, it was a NA car. I used to race it and drive it in the UK. Uh, the best was uh, 897 in, in the quarter. I drove it there, drove it back. Yeah. And then we, the dream has always been drag week. So we tried to for 2019 and then you know, 2020. It just never happened with the business moving the business from uh, from England to California and stuff like that. Yeah. And then um, we, we thrashed. Uh, had a whole month off building the car for uh, drag week 2021. Right. We came short on a few things. I mean, we couldn't go and make the three hour, uh, three day drive even yeah. to get to Michigan. So, um, and then when this event got announced, we, we were like, perfect, we could do that. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah we, uh, we had a week off before the event and then we've been on the road for almost three weeks now. We went to Fuel Tech for a week, had it on the hub dyno. Um, we broke the uh, hydraulic roller horsepower record on the hub dyno at Fuel Tech. Yeah. So that was pretty cool to and do. And how much horsepower was that again? We made 23.12 to the wheels. Yeah. yeah. So the fuel flow set is around 2700 to, to the tire. That's I mean, awesome. to, to the, the flywheel. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But Steph, walk us through some of the details of the engine itself. Yeah, cool. It's 427 LSX. Uh, uh, LS Next. LS Next, yeah, sorry. And, block, uh, yeah. You got twin turbos on there. And... Yeah. So it's a dark block LS Next 2. So it has half inch main, half inch head stud. Uh, custom Ross Pistons, which you work with them on there. They're phenomenal. Really happy with them. Uh, total seal rings, O rings. Um, Brad at QMP did the machine work on the O-rings and, and the home for me. Yeah. Um, it has dart heads, um, badass hydraulic roller camshaft from Nick at Brian Tully Racing. Uh, we worked a lot on this combo and me and him pretty much came up yeah. with this whole thing to, yeah. to try and do what we're going to do with it. And, or, you know, um, and uh, it has twin 88 Garrett's on it, um, billet intake from Sean in um, Australia. Yeah. Um, it's powered by FuelTech FT600, okay. uh, dry sum. Uh, has two fuel systems, uh, alcohol for the for the uh, sh uh, for the track, and then it has a 20 gallon cell in the in the rear for um and for the how, street. How many stages on their dry cell? Uh, it's a six stage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we actually need to add another stage to put. We 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 Y one stage into, into both turbos at the moment, but we yeah. get a little blue smoke when we start it, so we're going to add another stage. Um, uh -huh. So each turbo has its own because they're like yeah. at a crazy angle. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Awesome, awesome. And now, obviously, uh, anyone that might have tuned into day one, your, your first run wasn't what you yeah. were hoping for. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about kind of what happened out there? You know, yet most of it was was going great, and yeah. right towards the end, it's it kind felt of where, it felt amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I did pedal it a little bit uh, right just before the eight, and before it happened, um, shifted. Um, and I just, I saw fluid right on, on the windshield right here and then I braked it, but it was too late. And then the back end violently, you can see the back, it's like yeah. crushed in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, and then tried to correct it, pulled the chute, cut the power, and then it went over and slid down the right side. Um, but it was lucky because yeah. I was trying to not hit this. It yeah. has a bar going around it, but yeah. that was my main worry is when it was going over to the other side, was it crush yeah. that tank and then alcohol go everywhere yeah. and then be a fire there. So in the grand scheme of uh, you know having a, a minor wreck it wasn't you know wasn't too bad you guys. No, we got you data know. from the suspension you know, yeah. uh, up to the around the eight so that's good. Um, the suspension did what I wanted it to do. The 60 foot was a bit weak but 
it, it, it did well considering I pedaled it in the eighth and, and it's still around a seven six sideways so yeah. I'm sure it would have been a good pass um, but they let us turn the time to in because we crossed the line after we cr crossed the, uh, the the centre so um, so that's uh, yeah that's fine yeah and uh, Steph walk guys through you know what your expectations are for the rest of the week you know what are you guys trying to run out there um, um, I'm going to turn it down a little bit because. Um, uh, just to get his confidence back. Um, we're gonna dump the water out of it. So the bottom radiator hose came out. Yeah. Uh, that was what the fluid was, and it pushed the electric water pump out of the um, out of the adapter that it was held in with. Yeah. So uh, I fixed that, I put a different adapter on there now, which is much better. Um, but I'm still gonna dump the water out of it when we do a pass, just because, just from like my own, so I'm not worried about yeah. it going down. Yeah. I can keep my foot in it without worrying. Um, and then we'll probably take it down to like the 25, 30 pound tune versus the 35, 40 tune. And then um, and see what it does. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm confident we could do low sevens in the car easily. And if I really want to try and push it, and we sort all this out, maybe we'll try and push it if we get to the last day and see what we can get. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Very good. And again, you guys are cranking out over 2,500 horsepower in the en like the engine itself, about 2,300 to the wheels. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. It's, it's that was awesome. that, that wasn't the tune we ran yesterday. That was that was a lesser tune. The one we ran okay. yesterday was about 21 to the wheels. Okay. So. But, Very good. Yeah, so we still have that to do. Yeah. So we, I'm sure it'll go faster. <laughs> yeah. If it stays straight. <laughs> Steph, anything else that we're leaving out that you want to maybe mention? Or? Um, yeah, uh, I, I want to thank Pete uh, Nichols. He did a badass converter for me. Wicked. The car leaves amazing. Um, spools up well. Um, have a gear vendors on the back of the of the power glide. Yeah. Um, just want to thank everyone, all the vendors that have been involved with this. Um, we couldn't have done it without any of them. Um, yeah, and uh, Sander Engineering for the wheels, the badass wheels, real happy with them. We have a street set and a race set, so. Yeah, yeah. excellent, excellent. Well, Steph, always a pleasure catching up with you. I know day one wasn't what you were hoping. Hopefully it, everything turns around for you going forward. And, yeah. yeah. Really appreciate you giving us some of your time this morning to walk us through your setup. Yeah, no worries, man. Thank you very Thanks much. so much, cool. yeah. yeah so, guys, make sure you check out Steph and Rossi and Ace Racing Engines out in California. Please make sure you check out Engine Builder for more engine content, and we appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.